welcome back. Uh, I was just nerding out, almost like zoned out because the pictures of Batwoman <laughs> just released. So if you have not seen oh. that, see that because it, it's really cool. I'm excited for that one. But for now, I'm actually uh, intrigued with this bit of news, but I'm not going to give you the details because that's all caboose. Okay, great. So we've known for a little while now, a little while I should emphasize, that uh, there is a new batch of DLC characters coming to Mortal Kombat 11. We're getting Rain, we're getting Melina, and we're getting Jonathan Rambo uh, <laughs> as portrayed and voiced by Sylvester Stallone himself. Uh, and then very recently, we just got the gameplay trailer. We got to see a little bit of what he's going to play like in the game. And they're very much leaning into the whole aspect of the character where he's not just, I use guns, I shoot things. He's more dedicated towards setting up traps and mm -hmm. using his surroundings. You know, they're really playing into the stealth aspect of the character from the films, which I really liked. A lot of people also pointed out that his gameplay is almost like direct reflections of things that happen in the movies. Some of his moves are straight up ripped out of the films, which is dope. Um, and I just wanted to, I guess, throw it to you guys and just see what you think about this overall. Like Sylvester Stallone is in Mortal Kombat. This isn't, no sound alike like what they did with Arnold and the Terminator. No, it's straight up. It's him. Yeah. yeah. Which is insane because like, well, is it really insane? Because what is Sylvester Stallone really doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. The last Rambo was Whoa. not that great. It wasn't no. great. Did you Whoa. watch the movie? Yeah, no, it was just okay. It was, it was, it was okay. bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> so like, what is he doing? I think it's cool. Marissa's like, hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, okay. Excuse me. Um, Creed? Creed 2? Like, hello? Yeah. That's yeah. what I was saying whoa about because but then like, the he last is incredible. Rambo, in those okay, Creed is okay. good stuff. Rock Creed is good stuff. Rock, Yo, Rock you guys haven't seen not Creed. Mortal Kombat he, he, 11. Okay. Sylvester Stallone was robbed of an Oscar for Creed 1. Like, robbed. Thank you for Literally that. robbed. Yes, but he's still not doing anything robbed. right now. Like, I think the next Creed is going to be directed by um, Michael B. Oh Jordan. Michael B. Jordan, yes. right? So Sylvester Stallone, he's lost his credit for that. Okay, Rocky's not in MK11. <laughs> So, like, what is he doing, okay? And the thing... There would be no Creed if he didn't steal the original script for, <laughs> for Rocky to make Rocky in the first place, okay? Like, do, do not insult my Italian-American brethren. <laughs> Fine, no, no, okay. No, no, Oh, <laughs> that was good. Every week, a new impression from Caboose, and it's actually pretty good. Adrian, I can't. I can't. Adrian. Adrian. Yeah. Um, that's who they need. They need Rocky in MK11. I, I like Rambo. Don't get me wrong, but, yeah, but Rock Rambo, Rambo has weapons versus Rocky. Just yeah. has this. You know? <laughs> What's but Rocky gonna pull with his boxing gloves? So bad ass. <laughs> Like, I'm at, like <laughs> <laughs> he could just throw a towel. That could be like his little grapple. Oh my god! What's his, what's his fatality going to be? A training montage? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no, I think it's great that they're bringing Sylvester Stallone in to actually voice because that was one of the major disappointments with Terminator that yeah. it wasn't Arnold, right? So yeah. mm -hmm. I'm glad that we're seeing that, but it, it's it's all a gimmick that I'm here for. Yeah, the okay. MK gimmick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everyone's living out their 80s fantasy now. You got Robocop, the Terminator, and Rambo in a, in a Mortal Kombat game. And then you got Spawn in there to the Joker. Like, yeah. only Mortal Kombat is able to do this. And it's getting to the point where it's starting to become, like, WB Games' own Smash Bros. I was going to you know, say, where, where everyone just, is here, yeah. Exactly, where they just have a million IPs. and. And then, I mean, obviously, there was even rumors about Ash at one point, mm -hmm. Ash Williams from Evil Dead, yeah. which would have been awesome. And it's just, it's just cool for me. Like, at first, I wasn't the most amped or excited about Rambo being in MK11. I was just like, yeah, okay, like, they're doing another guest character. Cool. But for me, what's the most exciting part is that Sly is doing everything. Like, he's all in on it, you know? Because, yeah, the, the tough part about Terminator, and I don't think this was because Arnold was like, no, I don't want to do that. Get out. You know, I think it was more that just was like, really <laughs> I think it was more just that like wow. he was doing the Terminator right. movie and he was just busy. <laughs> I think he oh, was just oh. busy, you know? Marissa, so does your dog do want to sound off on this topic? She heard yeah. his impression and she had, she had. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, but uh, I, I mean, I think he would have done it if the roles were reversed, you know, like if he was coming yeah. in this combat pack, like we would have seen Arnold doing the voice. 
Well, yeah, Arnold's not doing much any ways. He has that new movie, The Iron Mask. That looks horrible. That as well. I don't even know what that is. I've it's, never heard it's of it. Arnold and Jackie Chan. And you think that'd be oh, the best, that like a one. really cool yeah. movie. Yeah. But it looks like crap, which is very unfortunate. So, like, I'm pretty sure he's not <laughs> doing it. His calendar's open. He would he would gladly step in. Sure. But I have to say, Netherrealm is just like amazing at doing these like random, like it looks like they're just picking out of a hat. And Edmund's like, all right, we'll do it. You know, like it's just the most random selection of characters that you'd expect. Now there's rumors about Injustice 3, right, coming out. Do you think we're going to see some of these special characters move over to that? Well, they did that in Injustice 2. Um, the thing is, though, is that they didn't get as crazy with it as they do with Mortal Kombat. And I think Mortal Kombat, they have a little more room to. You mm -hmm. know, where injustice is like superhero, so you kind of have to try and oh, you have to try and keep it like as close to that as possible. So, like in Injustice Two, they had uh, they had the Ninja Turtles, which was yeah, awesome, that was completely cool. out of nowhere. Um, but then they had like Hellboy, and then they brought in Mortal Kombat characters, which I thought was super lame. But with Mortal Kombat, they just have that freedom, right? Just bring in any property. And I yeah. think if we're doing another, if we're doing another batch of DLC, which I really hope they do, I think it's about time. We get Keanu in there. I think it's about oh time God. we get John Wick so in Mortal Kombat. Don't it's, forget it's John Wick. I want, I want Ted. I want Come Ted. From Camille. <laughs> Stop. I like that. Like, Pet, like, there you go. With like the, because Mortal Kombat still has a universe that it has to uphold, right? Like it still has, it still has, I feel like to me, it should yeah. still connect to you know, the lore of Mortal Kombat. So you like, mm -hmm. yeah, they find a way to put like, Bill and Ted in there. They can, obviously. Yeah. They, they I, hit you with the jokes and just every joke, you're like, it gets a punch, please, right? Please stop. Time travel. I, <laughs> and food, if you're looking for ideas, your girl got you, okay? Your girl got you here. They almost yes. put Keanu in Injustice. Ed Boon said they were they were working on getting Neo, like the Matrix yeah. and oh, Neo yeah. in Injustice. Um, <laughs> and I guess the plans fell through. So like, Obviously, I think at some point or another, Netherrealm has hit up Keanu Reeves, and now Keanu Reeves is doing cyberpunk. I think he's as into games as he'll ever be. Get John Wick in Mortal Kombat. It is the perfect fit. It just it yeah. could not be a more perfect fit. Yeah. Hunter Slasher says mute my mic. My mic. Um, no. Yeah. No, yes. Somebody, mic. please. Ted is, a good, <laughs> Ted is a good entry into any Nether Realm game. I would no. say though, I would probably prefer Neo rather than John Wick, especially with Matrix coming out, another Matrix movie. It just might align with what we want to mm -hmm. see. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess it could it could work a little better too in like the special powers of it all, right. if you will, yeah. like slowing down time or something crazy like that. Doing the doing the, the matrix the, lean the bullet dodge, yeah. Yeah. you know, the matrix leap, all that stuff. So, like, I wouldn't listen if Keanu's in Mortal Kombat, I don't care in what form, except for <laughs> Bill and Ted. All right, like <laughs> any other Keanu role, I'm down for it. So, I have to say, because like this is obviously not the first time Netherrealm has done this, bringing in a character yeah. from outside of gaming, um, real life movie character. So, I want to ask you guys, what is who is your favorite cameo in games? Like in terms of a real life fictional character, so not like the celebrity themselves, a fictional character that is in another game. It's probably, oh man, that's a tough one actually. Yeah. Like off the top of my head, it's Spawn because yes. people have been asking for Spawn to be in like any Netherrealm game since like 2011, you know, for the last nine years. And so seeing him presented in all his glory in MK11 is cool, but I don't really know what other kind of cameos have we have we had outside of Mortal Kombat or any Netherrealm yeah. game specifically, you know? Yeah, out of those I'm games. I mean, I was just blown away when they, you know, had Isabelle in Smash. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? When they just like bring in a okay. character, you're just that's, like, that's oh, right. you weren't You're're expecting that. But... Yeah. With Marvel, like, I think that was True. like that's all, a good, yeah. all those cameos. Okay. Like, you do not expect it. And just being able to be Thanos, like, I think that was like that was so cool. badass. I and would have a Scott pull off a concert in Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was actually dope. Like that concert yeah. was, that was super cool. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll have to say so right, it was, I'll have to say right now, like, I don't know what my favorite one of all time is. And I know I asked you the question, so it's kind of unfair, but I'm going to cop out and say <laughs> right now, my favorite cameo is Jigsaw 
in Call of Duty. Oh, Haunted yeah. Haunted. Yeah. That's a good one. He but that's a is, costume. It, well, yes. But then he's also in all the televisions throughout Verdansk. Um, so, like, he's incorporated within the environment. So, that's I'm cool. going to say it counts. And because I asked the question, it counts. Okay, Caboose? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> how about Marissa? Steve, how about you guys? Uh, I was just going to throw out uh, Spartan uh, 458 in Dead or Alive 4. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Wait, what? The, uh, the Halo <laughs> crossover with Dead or Alive. They did that? Yeah. 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 It was d like a DLC character. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't like I, it has to. I don't know. For me, like it has to be whenever there's a character announced. It's just like, oh, like when they said Isabel, I was like, really i thought i would like playing her with smash i do not i don't know if anyone else is that in the smash world uh still have not graduated from my floaters but uh <laughs> I was Marissa, just keep really those down bees. you're fine you're fine i'm also thinking of when they put yoda and soul caliber and they literally oh. had to ban the character competitively yeah because that was a good one that <laughs> it was cool but it was also like from a fighting game perspective the worst idea because <laughs> he's literally like he's the short character so some characters yeah. like their moves just miss because he's short <laughs> and, and they're not supposed to be fighting this three foot green dude you know but it was cool like they put darth vader in there as well so yeah. i thought that was i thought that was nice um yeah. i think it was some of the chat freddy yeah. Krueger, yes mm. pixel serial said dr disrespect in cyberpunk that's been yeah that's been rumored, right? Rumored, yeah. Confirmed. So uh, it'll be interesting For if he makes time. an appearance. But I feel like they've been, like, I feel like a lot of gaming influencers have been teasing being a part of Cyberpunk in some way or form, which I feel like that yeah. just makes a lot right. of sense for that game. Um, mm -hmm. So that will yeah. be a really cool it. crossover for their fans. Oh, there's going to be a lot of different Easter eggs in Cyberpunk. Yeah. I'm, the, yeah. I'm the main villain in the game. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Dang. That's cool. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Dude, I'm so proud of you. You just you took off. You know, you, you're the best going somewhere. Two hundred, real quick. Yeah. That is my dream. You know, when when Batman Arkham Knight came out, there was like the beginning of the game. You're in this diner and you're playing like yeah. a police officer of, of like Gotham, and it's it's supposed to be like the intro to the game. And one of the cool things about the diner is that all the people in there are members of the the, the dev team. And there was this one character who at the time looked almost exactly like me like no joke it's uncanny oh, really? and everyone thought it was me like people thought genuinely that rocksteady got my face scan and put me in the game <laughs> and i was like I no that's that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you know what at, at the time i wish i had been like smart enough to just play along with it and be like yeah no that's me i'm in the game <laughs> that is so funny to hear that caboose like i can't that's so funny because that happens like it happened to cabby you know cabby on the street like he went to go work in the states now but he like the character, like the main character that you play in 2K looks exactly like Cabby. Like oh, wow. exactly like him. So like now he's using it as his like Twitter profile pic. <laughs> he he tweeted it out because people are like, Cabby, that cute. Cabby's you, congrats, man. He just like went with it. It's not him at all. Like he did not voice the character. He did That's not do crazy. any like any of it. But it's just like the main character looks so much like him that he's now just like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm the purple guy in Among Us. It's just a helmet over me. Oh, so yeah, wonderful. Didn't, didn't want to tell you guys, but but <laughs> Among Us would be a great place to have these crossovers in because, like, you know, how Fall Guys did Sonic. They had the Sonic skin. Mm -hmm. I feel like Among Us could kind of do like some two day two D art of like uh, characters. Like, oh, imagine sure. a little mini Rambo running around. Imagine or Bill and like Ted, Scorpion or Sub Right. Shut down the stream. Shut it off. <laughs> 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 this, uh, topic has been lasted, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's enough MK11 for the day because we're obviously losing our mind with all of our theories. Mm -hmm. So instead, we're going to move on to another topic that's all about Xbox.